This video is brought to you by the Wake Tech ILC and is closed captioned. Today, we'll be discussing passive versus active voice, how to differentiate between the two, and how to avoid using passive voice. Firstly, what is the difference between these two voices? Active voice is when the verb corresponds with the subject of the sentence, and passive voice is when the verb corresponds with the object of the sentence, meaning that the subject has something acted upon it. Let's take a look at an example. I taught a class. This is an example of active voice. Taught is the action being done by myself, which places an active picture in the reader's mind of a teacher teaching a class. The class was taught by me. This would be passive voice because the subject of the sentence, the class, isn't participating in the action that I, the teacher, am doing. It means that the action is acted upon the class, giving them nothing to do despite the fact that they are the subject of the sentence. Usually, if a sentence uses is, was, or were, the sentence may be passive. That is, until you start using these words as linking verbs, such as in this example. She was five years old. In this sentence, there is no action as it is describing a state of being. These linking verbs like is, was, were, are, seem, and become don't have an action, instead being treated like an equal sign. If we were to take the last sentence, she was five years old, the word was would be acting as an equal sign as it is describing she as being five years old. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on OrgSync and like us on Facebook.